Let me tell y'all what happened. Welcome back to the vlog, Ghost Gang. And look, I want to give y'all a couple reasons why I started this shit, alright? Because, you know, some of y'all ask me, like, why you start doing vlogs? Why you stop doing the rap videos? Like, for one, the rap videos is what started my YouTube channel. If y'all go all the way back, then rap videos, like, that's what I'm infatuated with. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment. Cameras, microphones, studios, movies, all that type of stuff. That's what I'm into. And so now that I'm vlogging, it just give me another way and an excuse for me to go ahead and shoot movies. Like, I love movies, so I'm finna shoot a movie of my life every day. And it's a lot of people that vlog, they like to plan stuff out. Oh, I'm gonna do this today, I'm gonna do that today. Like, no, that's not the case with me. I'm gonna vlog my everyday life. If I'm sitting in my room, I'm gonna turn on my camera and let y'all know I'm sitting in my room. You know what I'm saying? If I'm getting my car washed, visiting my mama or whatever. No slacking. I gotta stay mobile, I gotta stay busy, and I gotta stay on top of my stuff. I'm a productive person, you know what I'm saying? So, vlogging every day is a reason for me to make movies every day. And this is what I'm gonna do. People always ask me like, hey AJ, like, how can we be successful? Like, how do you be successful? Like, look, bro, I'm not even successful. You know what I'm saying? What I thought success meant and what I thought it really was, it's not that. You know, I grew up thinking I had to get me a good job, work hard, take care of my family, which is true, except the good job part. When you working for somebody, they can fire you, hire you, do whatever they want at any given time. No matter what you do, how you doing it, where you doing it. As long as you get some money, bro, you should be straight. Everybody ain't gonna like how you get your money, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? Everybody don't pay your bills either. So when you out there, just make sure that you know what you're doing it for. You know you got a family at home. You know you got a girl at home, and you know you gotta be a man. Once you're 18 years old, it ain't no more excuses. You can't make no excuses for yourself. Blame it on somebody else, like, oh, I ain't had no father in my life. Oh, my daddy left me. My mama, she didn't teach me. All that type of stuff is no excuse, you know what I'm saying? My daddy got life in jail when I was 11 years old, and I still managed to make something out of myself, even though I'm not doing it legally. My family is good, my kids is good, my girl good, and I'm straight. I'm not hurting for nothing. My pockets is straight, I'm not hurting. You know, and that's the best part of being, I'm not going to say being successful, but working for yourself and being an entrepreneur. And what y'all need to understand is that nowadays, like, you always heard rumors that computers going to take people jobs and, you know, people ain't going to be working as long because that is going to be like that in the near future. So if you ain't got your own business and you really ain't trying to make something out of yourself, you're going to be one of the people that get laid off because they want to replace you with a computer or a robot. So if you got a skill, let people know that. Go ahead and put it out there to the world and try to monetize off of it. Try to get paid off of it. Because ain't nothing better, ain't nothing better than waking up knowing you got to work, knowing you're going to work for yourself, making your own hours, your own time, and doing what you want, spending time with your family. Instead of asking your manager, can you spend time with your family? Or asking your manager, can you go to the hospital because your daughter broke her finger? Like, none of that is cool. You know what I'm saying? So just get you some money. Work for yourself and just be a boss. Like I said, I don't run no Fortune 500 company. I ain't got no millions. I ain't even got no hundreds of thousands. But guess what? I'm working for myself and I'm a boss. No excuses. Once again, excuses are for losers. If you're making excuses, hmm, it's probably because you're a nobody. I was jugging, finessing, and flexing. Till I ran into the plug. I got a key wrapped up in a Louis V. Now they calling me the plug. I'm out in Guatemala with a. Where we at? Let's get it. Get it. If y'all seen my last vlog, still flipping quarters. Look. Damn, I wish I would have had my camera. Let me tell y'all what Fuck it, nigga, we still film. Fuck. Shit, plug the light back up. Soon as I drop the camera off at home, I'm like, it's dark time now, so the day is over with. The day is just done. I vlogged what I had to do, I did what I had to do, so I'm finna drop the camera off, go to the spot, and go mess with the homies, right? So when I get there, I see like all the homies in the street, and I see like three other dudes, you know what I'm saying? So, one of the other dudes that I don't know trying to squabble the homie that got a broken arm. I'm already hot, cause I just had an argument with my baby mama, so I'm like, what like, what the homies getting into it for? So, one of the dudes up in the street like, oh, I don't care, you gotta catch my fade, wooty woo woo. But mind you, my boy Slim, his arm broke. 
So Slim can't do nothing like, well, whatever, my arm be lucky, my arm broke. Psh, knock it off. I'm out there. Whoop, soon as I take off my shirt, he take off his shirt. We get out there and squabble. So when y'all see me in my vlogs and y'all see this little signer, right here on my face right here. Look at this little signer. He got me with one tag. That's it, bro. And I just dropped my camera off at home. <sighs> I'm amped up, though. I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. DJ Ghost 100.